Hello and welcome to Cinema Sense, the show where I give my two cents on whether or not a movie may be worth your hard-earned cash at the box office. I'm your host and unqualified film critic, Bryce Cook, and today we're going to be talking about a movie that just recently had its theatrical debut, Good Boys. Good Boys is an adventure comedy that introduces us to Max, Lucas, and Thor, three boys who are struggling to find their place in the bizarre cast system that is sixth grade while also simultaneously navigating the nightmare fuel that is puberty. Early into their sixth grade career, the boys are confronted with the opportunity to go to a party with the popular kids that could change their young lives forever. But in their quest to enter the upper crust of sixth grade society, their decisions will land them in a hilarious slew of circumstances that will challenge them to think about who they are and what they mean to each other as friends. Oh, and there's a lot of sex toys. Like, a surprising amount of sex toys. Okay, so with the plot of Good Boys out of the way, let's talk about the things I really liked about this movie. So one of the things I really enjoyed most about this film was the humor, which, surprise, surprise, I mean, it's a comedy movie. If they can't get the comedy right, then what are we even doing here? But seriously, a lot of the jokes on the surface seem really lowbrow, like the writers are just really reaching for the low-hanging fruit kind of jokes. But if you look beyond that, they're actually really shockingly intelligently written. Like the writers do an excellent job at capturing the innocence and blissful ignorance we all enjoy while growing up and using it as a device to really drive the punchlines in this movie in a way that I couldn't help but enjoy. However, the thing that I think I enjoyed most about this film was actually the art storytelling. This is a strong comedic coming of age story. Like putting the humor aside for a moment, the events that happen in this film are for the most part actually kind of believable. And we get to watch Max, Lucas, and Thor all develop individually as they are figuring out who they are themselves. And at the same time, we get to see how they develop together through their shared identity as friends. And I think that this film does a surprisingly decent job at displaying some of the anxieties and challenges kids growing up can face while they're exploring who they are, which is a layer of depth I did not expect from a film produced by Seth Rogen, like, at all. But as complex as this movie can be, I do have some gripes. Some of the jokes were dumb. And I know, I know, I just literally rambled on about how great and intelligent the humor was, but beyond the fact that I just absolutely love to contradict myself, hear me out. Like, there are scenes in this movie that feel like the only reason they exist in the film at all is to build up, like, one punchline or one comedic situation, and it often doesn't even land very well. And going on these tangents really made the film feel like it was dragging on a bit at certain points, and at those points, it felt like the humor really dove deep into the shock value of that comedic situation, so it wasn't a huge deal overall. I feel like they were there to pad screen time and to really lean into the rated R rating, but I don't know, I guess I kind of, in watching those scenes, felt like they undercut the intelligence of the writing and the humor that was found throughout the rest of the film. But taking all of that into account, this movie really surprised me. The marketing for this film made me feel like it was going to be a remake of the film Superbad, but with children. I did not think this movie was going to make me laugh as much as it did, and I definitely didn't think how much I would walk away from the film thinking how how intelligently written the script was. Overall, this movie was a really fun, feel-good ride. If you're someone who really enjoys going to the movie theaters just as an experience, I would say that Good Boys is actually worth a trip to the box office. But if you're someone who's a little bit more conservative in the movies you go to see in the movie theaters, then I would say that nothing would necessarily be lost if you were watching it like on a streaming service or renting it. So I'm on the fence of how you should experience this film, like whether it's at the movies or after its home release, but ultimately this was a good movie. And I think everyone, you know, who's allowed to watch a rated R film should definitely do it. But that's just my opinion. You know, what are yours? Is Good Boys on your film bucket list or is it something you're totally disinterested in? Let me know in the comments below. We are building a film loving community here and the comments is where we can discuss these things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for another movie review in the next episode of Cinema Sense.